Good morning, everybody. This is Saving Money with Jazzy. Um, so it's pretty early. Um, on my way to work, I just dropped the kids off at daycare. Um, so just wanted to chat with you guys a little bit. This is the only time I'm until I get off work. I don't want to wait that long. So yesterday was pretty crazy. I found out I was pregnant. If anybody's seen that video, um, so it was quite interesting. I had everyone. Um, so thank everybody that watched the video. I love you guys. Um, so let's see. So today I have to go to work. It's Tuesday. So basically I'm going to go to work and then get off work. And then um, I'll record when I get home with the kids. Um, but yeah, I was just thinking like because of the pregnancy vlogs, like my plan, I'm going to do like, um, you know, those videos everyone watches on YouTube where it shows you like every month, every week. Um, doctor's visits, you know, the milestones of the pregnancy. I'm going to do that because with me or Isaac, I never did that kind of stuff. So thinking that this will be the last baby I'm going to do with this one, um, I'm going to check that. So today I'm going to give the my doctor a call. Um, so since like I told you guys, I was trying to get pregnant for a while. Um, and what happened was I had got onto the birth control right after I had my daughter. Um, and it was the Exponon. And I had the Exponon before I had her. And I took it off and it took me a couple months for my body to regulate to have to get pregnant with her. So that's why it took us so long to get pregnant with Mia, like a month or two. Um, but I never had any issues with the Exponon because they have like side effects sometimes on certain, or depends who the person is, you know, how their body reacts to it. And I did it the first time. So then when my daughter was born, I chose to do that again because I was like, it's convenient. It's in your arm. You don't have to worry about it. And it lasts for three or five years. So I was like, I'm going to put it on again. So when I put it on... Um, I noticed like a couple things, you know, but I thought it was just normal, like headaches. Um, my breast would hurt a lot, you know, like very, like when you're, if, if you're a mommy, like when your boobs are full of milk, that's how they would feel all the time, like hurting. So I, you know, I let, I kept it in for about a good eight months. Cause I was like, we weren't, cause we had agreed me, um, me and hubby agreed that we would wait till the baby was at least. 18 months before we tried or at least two years he said two years and I was like no I want 18 months because I want them to be close together so they could be raised together because her and my son are 10 years apart so when he's off with being a teenager she he's not gonna want to be with her all day long like he does now um and I don't want her to be by herself neither so that's why I wanted to do it so close together so when we were trying the doctor you know I went to the doctor I called him I said you know what this is what's going on and my doctor just basically said, you know, let's keep trying naturally. You know, we'll try for, he said, he told me a year of me trying on my own. And if I couldn't get pregnant, then he would help me out with some kind of like supplement that helps you ovulate, you know, so you can hit the bullseye. So I was like, okay, um, that's fine. So I tried and, I, and once it came around, like, you know, and that's when I was, like I was telling you, like when you're looking forward to something, like when you're thinking, like when you're tracking it or you know you're planning for it or like you just you think every sign is a pregnancy sign you're like oh i might be pregnant this time or and i kept telling my husband i kept telling and then i would start my period and it was just the saddest thing i'm like damn i started my period again and it would just ruin my whole day that day you know and my husband was just like what's wrong with you because i would be a b-i-t-c-h you know and he already knew he's like what happened i'm like this is what happens like oh okay he already knew so we did that for a couple months and I was just getting tired of it guys. I mean, I was just like, oh, I'm like, keep trying to keep being negative or, and I would, and I would have miscarriages, um, you know, that would, that sucked as well. So I was just like, I don't want to do it anymore. I'm just, I'm just going to whatever. I'm not going to focus on it. You know, let me start doing this YouTube channel and not worry about that anymore. So, and then this was the month that I did that and then I happened to get pregnant this month. And that's what I tell everyone tells me, that's when it happens is when you're not focusing on it or when you're not expecting it, you get, it happens. I'm like, okay, well I should have known that like eight months ago and I would have done it. So yeah, so that, that pregnancy has been, you know, trying to get pregnant has been hard and I know I'm not the only one out there because I looked up a lot of YouTube videos and people that have gone through it. And first my, um, OB was like, you have a uh, cyst on your, your uterus. And I'm like, oh my gosh. And like, when he told me that, he didn't really tell me that it was on the outside of my uterus, not on the inside where the baby grows. And I'm thinking it's where the baby grows. And I'm like, oh, that's why I can't get pregnant. And 
it's preventing me to get pregnant and if I do get pregnant it's gonna cause the cyst to get huger and the hormones I'm like if I was getting scared I was like oh my gosh so he, he did a sonogram and they showed me the cyst but they didn't tell me neither again they didn't tell me at that appointment that it was outside of the uterus neither so I kept thinking it was like on there and I told I told my doctor I'm like does that affect fertility he says yeah it does and I'm like well that's the cause of it so this whole time I was like telling my husband like I can't make babies anymore and I was getting depressed about it and I'm like that's why I can't get pregnant every time I'm trying and he was just like it's gonna happen when it's supposed to happen and I'm like okay so that that too as well you know that so there's a lot of things in the play for it so I can there's a lot of things that were going on at that time so I had told my doctor I was like well then how can we get rid of it and he said well when you have a baby when you get pregnant then I can remove it at that time or give me a medication to make it smaller but he's like it hasn't grown any bigger than it, what it was so it's like really tiny you can't you can't see it unless you're using a sonogram machine and I was like okay so I wasn't worried about it oh sorry oh my gosh it's so early um, I wasn't worried about it, so I was like, okay, well, it'll happen when it happens, I guess. So, yeah, that, that's what happened, and then, so now, I'm gonna call my doctor today at lunch, I believe, maybe lunch. Yeah, at lunch, and I'm gonna set up an appointment, um, because I finally got a positive pregnancy test, so I'm gonna set up an appointment as quick as I can, um, get in there, confirm the pregnancy, like, for sure, you know, because, you know, when you take a pregnancy test, you're like, okay, but then when you hear it from the doctor's mouth, that's when you're like, all oh, right, it's it's for real. And you know how, I don't know if it's only me, but all my pregnancies, once the doctor announces it, it that it is, all my pregnancy symptoms start starting, like morning sickness, all that crap. I swear, the third time the doctor says, you're pregnant, Jasmine, make it official, and then that's when everything kicks in. I hate it. But yeah, my kids are, my son's surprised. You know, I told him, you know, he... And I told my daughter, she's only two, she don't understand that much. So I told her, mommy has baby in her stomach. And she said, yeah. And then she grabbed my stomach and I told her, is it a boy or a girl? And she said, girl. And then my husband gets home and then she said, boy. So I don't know. I don't know if I should be going off of a two-year-old. <laughs> but a two-year-old says, but it's cute. Um, so I said I was going to vlog in the morning time because um, I do work. So I do work in morning shifts. Um, so I'm going to try to vlog in the morning like this, like a little morning chit chat. Um, and then um, the other half of the video I'll do when I get off work, just like basically closing it. Um, so yeah, um, last night I was trying to like, really, I don't know if anyone else is, you know, if anyone else has a YouTube channel that watches me, but it's really, it's a lot of work, you know, because I was looking into it. I was like, what do I need to do to make it grow? Like, what do I need to, am I doing something wrong? Let me check into it. So they have a thing called YouTube Academy. I tried it out and I started watching because they have like little lessons like videos that tell you like explain to you exactly how it works and what you're supposed to do and how to navigate the YouTube channel so that I got last night I was doing that because you need a you need a desktop um, to do so but I don't know my phone can shift it to desktop version on the like, certain websites and it makes the screen like bigger or longer so then I did that last night and I just started nav navigating my YouTube um, just following what it says and stuff um, and then basically the rest of it is just on me like the word of mouth like just spread it out tell everybody everybody wants to tell you know how it works you know you tell someone then they'll tell someone then it goes like that so that's what I'm trying to do guys um, initially it was going to be a coupon videos because um, I did do some last year um, and like I said before you know life happened you know I've worked at that time I was home with my daughter I was on maternity leave so I had plenty of time to do them and go to the stores and do you know the videos um, but once you coupon it does never change like you never forget how to coupon you know what I mean so like you if you don't go have a chance to go do videos or go get the newspapers or go do that and this like you still can coupon so like I know Kroger Kroger like Smith's when you spend money there and you buy certain items, they start sending you like um, monthly coupons, right? Like a little packet, and it's just it's just for Smiths. So those are Smiths coupons. Those are in-store coupons. So those coupons are a bonus because what can happen is sometimes they send me like a free carton of eggs or um, cheese stuff like that. But look at this. Like if you have a coupon in there for creamer, for example, and the at for the newspaper 
that weekend is going to have another uh, same coupon um, for the same brand. You can use both and they're both going to work because what happens is in couponing you can use um, in-store coupon which is their own individual store coupon um, and the newspaper coupon counts as another manufacturer coupon so they're totally separate so you can use both. And another thing about Smith's is like you know how they have their um, 5, 10, 10 for 10 like those deals those are the best deals to do because they mostly put the items that are on coupons you know like the other day they had what did they have they had like can of corn and stuff like that they had like buy one get one because you know thanksgiving's over so i'm assuming that's why they're doing it but i did i bought a bunch of that because i usually do like tuna and stuff like that at home so the veggies I always need and I always run out quickly so they usually have sales like that and there's some sales that are not in the newspaper you have to go in the store and walk around and you'll see them so lately I've been doing that and then also like in the produce area I like it because they have like these little red bags right where they have like I'm not gonna say like they're bad fruit or vegetables but it's except like that it's gonna they don't look so nice anymore or um, I don't know they have a couple of bruises on it like so certain fruit and vegetables you can eat with a couple of bruises like it doesn't it's not gonna hurt you you know what I mean but those bags like it could be like a five pound or a six pound and it's only gonna give you it's only gonna be a dollar um, so those are like the discount little bags that they sell on the side um, so I get I get those like they usually have like all tomatoes in there all lemon all lime I usually do that I'll go look at their look there first and see what they got there usually have apples and oranges too as well um, so Smith is a good good store you know to coupon at you know and they're kind of like not really strict with their stuff because other stores you can only say they have a sale on diapers they're going to get two bags of diapers and that's it that's a limit and Smith's they have like the five five times so you can get five of them and that's part of their their rules at their store so they can't really say oh well because you're using a coupon it doesn't apply to you so no I like it because I did a couple things there. I did like the laundry soap there once before because they have like cool, cool sales at Smith's. They have like buy all the laundry soap and you get a softener for free. Snuggles. So I went and did that to advantage of that one because I had a snuggle coupon and that took more off of the laundry soap because the snuggle was the free one. So things like that like you just have to catch them when you catch them and then I've noticed that the circulars will rotate the same cells you know will come around. So, I usually just do that. I'll look forward to those ones. So, like, I coupon now like that. Um, I just wait till I get my coupons in the mail and I go grocery shopping. I'll do my little coupon here and there. Because once you coupon, you're always a bargain shopper. You're always looking for those sales. And, yeah, a couple times it makes me want to go, like, get some newspapers, start over again, do that kind of thing. But it does take time, guys. It does take time to... You do have to collect about four Sundays of paper. Um, and let this let your because your coupons are good for at least a, I think a month so say you get them today they'll be good from a month from now so like they expire they have expiration dates on the coupons so what I did when I was started couponing um, I just watched YouTube and I just you know copied her her shopping haul she tell my friend couponing with Tony so I watch her channel and she explains it very like detailed like which coupon, which store, how to use it, what's the regulations, what's the rules, what's going to happen when you go in with this coupon, what they're going to say, what they're going to ask you, stuff like that. Because that's what you need to know if you're starting out because you don't know. You're just going to walk in with coupons and be like, hey, I want to use these coupons. But there's all kinds of stuff that come along with it. So couponing is, for me, it was helpful at that time because I was home and I worked at Walmart. So I was like... I can't just stay home, you know, and I would just drive myself nuts. I was like, I need to do something because diapers and formula and all that crap is expensive. And I was like telling my husband, like, because it was only him working basically because my check wasn't that much for the baby. And I didn't want to go back to work right away because I didn't want to leave her that young because I only had like, what was it, six weeks? And I didn't want to leave her that young at daycare. So I just stayed home for a while until she was like, I think she was nine months when I took her to daycare. So I was out of work for a while. And so then I started couponing and and did that and then I just had got me a little stockpile. I have a video on my playlist um, that shows the stockpile. Um, I had to alter my laundry room just to fit my stockpile because there was like no shelves in there. So I, that, I tell you that in that video as well. Um, and then 
also like to help with money you know I had family members that would come over and they'll shop basically they'll be like oh well we need laundry soap we need this and that so you know I would just sell it to them because it costs money so or my parents would be like here's $20 um, go shop for us so I would do coupon trips just for for them and get them what they need for the home because when I before I moved out I did coupon at my mom's house I got me a printer um, and I used just my iPad and my phone and and that's what I did like I just couponed and I got into really heavy and I stocked up the house laundry soap paper towels all that stuff that we would need at my mom's house because there's a lot of us there there was like what four four five six adults and one kid so like it was a lot of us at that time in a two-bedroom apartment so I can you just imagine there's no room so that's how it was and like it does help guys like but you just have to I don't know what to say but once you miss one week of couponing it throws you back right because especially with CVS like I, that's like my go-to store CVS besides Smith's CVS is cool because what they do is um, they give you money back like store credit so say they'll have things on sale for like Arizona drinks. If you buy two of those, they're gonna give you two dollar, a two dollar ECB, which is earn um, cash back. So you can only use it inside the store of CVS. So what happens is, I would go in there, you know, and I would go for the sales that would give you ECBs back, right? So you can roll them. And what I mean by roll them is, do one um, purchase, collect all the ECBs and use the ECBs to pay the next transaction and then you just pay taxes and you just keep doing that and then at the end you just make sure you roll it to where you still have ECBs for the next week's sales you know and just keep on it because the way CVS works is they give you in-store coupons based on what you spend so if you buy a lot of hairspray or a lot of hair care they start giving you like five dollars off of that three dollars off of that on top of your coupons you get in the newspaper so it does it's really cool like like right now, like around Christmas time, they start doing these things they call cash cards, which is basically gift cards for CVS. But instead of giving you um, ECBs, they give you these cards, like you can use, like gift cards. So I usually go in there, when I was couponing, I was doing that, and then that's how I bought Christmas um, little gift sets and stuff like that was with those cards. So it's pretty nice, you know, I, I liked it, guys, but it was just, I have to start all over and start buying newspapers every Sunday for at least four Sundays and then get it back up going again um, so it just take a couple it just take a couple Sundays because you got to stock up on your coupons and make sure you have a variety so you have a good shopping haul um, but yeah if you guys want to um, see like a beginner's video or something like that for for me to show you guys or um, get a couple newspapers and I can show you guys exactly what I mean comment down below um, if you're interested and I make that video um, and I can even do like a meet me at the store and we can I can walk you guys through it if you guys are local um, here in Utah so yeah we can always do that there's always a there's always a way to do it but anyhow let's see so this whole pregnancy thing right so we're supposed to be getting married in March um, in the first weekend of March we're gonna we want to go to Vegas and um, so I was looking at the chapels on Vegas in Vegas and they're pretty cheap but they're nice like it looks like a legit like church like if I went and got like a wedding planner because they get it all dolled up for you they give you a bouquet they give you there's a um, available like makeup artist and hairstylist if you want it's extra um, and they do they do everything and like my brother Daniel um, I asked him a long time ago to marry us to get ordained so he can marry us so I think that's something unique you know something different and he agreed so we're gonna do that and I was looking at the website, so I have to go and um, pay for the, um, sorry, pay for the the uh, marriage license out in Nevada, because you have to pay for all that stuff separately, so we have a couple things we got to do when we go out there, um, so I was calling, I called my grandma the other, last, well, my grandma called me last night, because I just did a massive group message, and everybody was pissed, because you know how it goes off, and goes off every time someone messages back, so... That was rough trying to get that crap deleted, but I couldn't get it. I don't know how to work that stupid group message, so I won't be doing that anymore. Um, so my grandma calls me because she responded to the text message of the, of the video, the pregnancy video, um, and she was like, oh my gosh, you're going to be pregnant while you're <laughs> getting married? I'm like, well, isn't that the tradition? She's like, yeah, and she just started laughing, and I told her, grandma, go subscribe to me to YouTube, and you know what she said? She's like, well, doesn't that cost money? How much does that cost? I'm like, no, grandma, it does not cost money. 
So hopefully I can convince her to go, you know, so she can watch some videos. And she does live in San Diego. Um, and that's one way we can connect with each other so she can see the kids and, you know, what we're doing out here, you know, since we don't live close to each other. So, yeah, it was just funny because she said that. I was like, how much does it cost? I'm like, Grandma. <laughs> so, yeah, um... I don't know, you guys comment down below, like, what would you guys want to do, you know, do you want me to do a coupon video, like a starter video, or do you want me to plan out a, vis a shopping haul, um, type up a, you know, follow me kind of thing, like, I'll write down exactly which coupon you need and how it's going to work. You guys let me know on the comments down below, you know, and I'll, and I'll make that video for you guys. Um, so yeah, um, but yeah, I'm going to get to work soon, so... I will get back on here when I get off of work, when I get home, um, and we'll talk a little bit more. We'll have the kids. Um, we'll see what I'm going to cook for dinner. I don't even know what I'm going to cook for dinner. I don't even feel like cooking for dinner, but we have to. Mommy duties, wife duties. So, I'm going to do that. So, I'll just keep in touch. And if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe. And if you guys liked the video, please put a thumbs up. Um, comment down below if any ideas you guys want me to speak about or stores you want me to um check out or any advice at all about the pregnancy um hey by the way do you guys know you know mommies the mommies out there that are watching me do you guys what do you guys prefer like have you guys tried like the water birth or at home birth like what do you guys think about those things like i've never done those before and i'm thinking i want to do something out there because it's gonna be my last baby so i want to just experience something different than the hospital you know but don't get me wrong, I love the hospital because they do cater to you. So I, I like that. But I want to try something else. You know, I'm like, let me see about the water birth or, you know, I haven't heard any bad things about it. Um, comment below what you guys what you guys had, what you guys did, you know, how did that work? Um, and I'm going to go to St. Mark's again. So I like, the, I like that um, hospital. They're really good. Um, Hey, it's Saving Money with Jazzy, guys. Um, so, um, I'm going to close my video out like I promised. Um, I'm going to record when I get home. So, I called St. Mark's today, and they don't take my new insurance. Um, so, basically, I'm going to have to um, go to a whole different doctor. So, I'm going to go to um, it's a midwife place. Um, it's at IHC. I don't know. I've never. I've only been to the emergency room there. Um, but I heard it's a pretty good, good clinic. Um, so I called, you know, and I asked them, um, like, what's a midwife? Like, what, is, what do they do? So basically, they just run it down to me really fast. They said that a midwife is, it will take the place of the OBG. Um, unless I have to get surgery or C-section, then they don't do that kind of stuff there. So I'll do all my prenatal, prenatal visits there and um, possibly have my baby there. Um, so I got my appointment for January 21st. So I'm excited. So that means it's, like, really going to happen, guys. I'm really gonna have a baby two years later but I'm excited you know it's a new beginning you know and I feel like everything does happen for a reason guys so like I started the YouTube channel and then I just happen to get pregnant at the same time I'm just like what the heck you know just new beginnings basically I think it's like new beginnings I look at it that way like something great is gonna happen and I can feel it you know and I, and I just I thank God for it I told God thank you for blessing me with another child you know, and, and thank you for trusting me to have another human being and being able to raise that little human being and to and praise you, Lord. And that's what I, I prayed that this morning. I said, oh, it's all thanks to him. So that was my update with the doctor and stuff like that, which really sucks. You know, I really want looking forward to go back to St. Mark's where I had Mia. I really liked it there. I really liked my doctor. He explained everything um, with detail with everything. So I just wanted to do it and... When I went to my old doctor, um, I went um, after, like, I was already six months when I went to him because I didn't like my doctor I had before, you know. I felt like really rushed, like, okay, let's check the baby's heartbeat, um, ask a couple questions, and then the visit, visit was done. It was very quick. And with my other doctor in St. Mark's, it was more like, do you have any questions? I asked all these, you know how it is when you're pregnant, you have like a million and one questions. And he answered all of them without hesitation, without bother. I didn't bother him with it. So I, I just want to see what's what's good, what's different with the midwife thing. Like, 
try something new, you know, possibly like a water burst, like I don't know yet, I'm scared about that. Um, I just want to do something, something different, guys, like something else, I want to experience something else. Um, so yeah, that's basically it, I'm just going to cook some um, pork chops and beans and some cheese and stuff like that for dinner. Um, I just have to wait for defrost right now. So, just wanted to check in on you guys and just let you guys know that I'm home now and how that doctor call went didn't go with what I planned. So, oh well, it's okay guys, you know, anywhere will be good, you know, I know me, like if I feel like it's not a good place or I'm not feeling the doctor, I always listen to my gut and I'll go somewhere else because that's way important, you know, because things can happen, like they can miss things and they're just trying to be quick and I don't like that kind of stuff, like... So I really ask a lot of questions, you know, make sure you do your research, you know, make sure you ask around other people, like, what, what, where did they went, and how was their visits there, and, you know, just ask around. Um, so today at work, I was thinking, I was like, hey, you know what, like, our little chit-chats in the morning, um, I'm going to start, you know, like, talking about relationship stuff, because I've been, I have many experiences that can probably help y'all. And I've been through a lot of different things in my my recent relationship. You know, we've been through a lot, five years, and we've been through a roller coaster of stuff. Like, and you know, we're still going through it because every couple is not perfect. You know, you do guys, you do have your struggles, and you do have your trial and error. You know, you're still two different human beings that are getting to know each other all the time. You're not gonna know someone all the way. Things happen. Things change. You know what I mean? Like things happen. Like you're not gonna, you know. And I, and, or maybe not, maybe people are very tight and, you know what I mean? Like, I wish, I, that's where I want to be. Like, we'll explain it tomorrow, you know, in the morning, we'll do a little chit chat. Um, and I'll explain a little bit more, you know, in each video, I'm going to do seven videos, um, seven different topics, um, as far as relationship wise and things that I wanted to work on. And maybe it could help somebody else. Like, you know, cause I, sometimes I felt like I was the only one going through this kind of stuff in relationships. And, and I was thinking, is it me? Like, am I not capable of being in a relationship? Do I not know how to act or what? Like, I just, I don't know. I just want to vent. You know, I'm not a counselor. I'm not anyone to be giving advice, first of all. Um, but I do want to, you know, share my experiences and what I went through and what I tried and what I'm still doing, you know. So I just want to, you know, let that be known. That's what we're going to talk about um, for the next seven days. I'm going to do um, a video and be a different topic every time and, and I just want you guys to be more engaged, like, comment down below, you know, if you've been through it, like, what did you go through? Um, a topic maybe I'm not covering, maybe something that you guys want to talk about, and I'm sure it's happened to me, so you just let me know what you guys want to talk about, like, what do you want to express and get to know me a little bit more? Um, just let me know, I'm very open to whatever you guys want to talk about, like, I don't really have a preference or a limit, um, so yeah. But yeah, I just wanted to get on here and just close the video, guys. Um, and say so guys, thank you for subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, you know, be part of the family. You know, I'm very, just, just me. Like I'm the normal person. I ain't famous. I'm nothing. I'm just a normal person, YouTuber. So I'm very, I can relate to a lot of people. So just join guys, you know, subscribe, hit that bell button. So you guys can, um, be notified every time I upload a video. I am going to try to upload videos, um, Monday through Friday. Um, it'll be mostly around 9 o'clock, you know, 8 or 9, I'll upload the video. Um, but that's what I'm, I'm looking at, you know, those days right there, Monday through Friday. Um, or even every day. I just don't want to... Every day, I love vlog... Like, I love picking up the camera, and I love talking to y'all. Like, I love... To me, it's like a therapeutic type of thing. Like, you can vent to someone that's not going to talk back or say no that's not correct and you can just talk and be yourself and let all of it out like all of it out because you know when you talk to certain people you hold back from certain things because you don't want to make that person f feel some type of way and like on youtube it's like of course you're going to have those people that judge you and comment but it doesn't matter to me because i feel relief i feel like it's off my chest and i feel like i really like aired it out and there you go you know, it's I'm everyone goes through these things and I feel like when I was going through it I didn't think about to watch YouTube or maybe like YouTube can I can take a couple things off of that person that is going through that and maybe I can like relate to them saying like I'm going through that, you know, or try to do what they they um they tried to fix how they fix their relationship or try new ways to do it 
And maybe I can take a crack at that. And maybe it'll work for me. You never know. So that's why I said, if you don't open and be yourself and, and let your life be a book and just crack it right open and let everyone read it, then how are you supposed to help anybody or how are you supposed to connect to anyone in YouTube if you're only talking about certain things or being a certain way? I'm sorry, I'm not like that. I'm going to be very straight out. Whatever's happening is happening. If you got questions, let me know. Um, it's cool. Like I don't, I wouldn't care. I want to get to know all you guys. Um, and yeah, so to subscribe, um, click the like button if you like the video. Um, and also, um, subscribe. Leave a comment. I don't care. One, two, three, four, five, five whatever you want. Leave comments. Just let me know. Someone's out there watching me, and I want to, you know, I want to connect. So I do have Instagram. So you guys can go to Instagram and see me there as well. Um, it's Saving Money with Jazzy. Um, same thing as YouTube. And my Snapchat is Jasmine cast is 19 and i will put that on here so you guys can go visit if you guys want to go look at my snapchats it's mostly me and my daughter on the filter she loves the filters taking pictures all the time but yeah guys you guys have a good night and i love all you guys and thank you for supporting me and please if you haven't su subscribed please do so trust me it won't be boring but you guys you guys have a good night thank you